Welcome back, Wolfpack. Vrolis here. Uh, I know we already saw the V on this week, but I mean, how can we pass up a Sunflora and a Pachirisu in the same battle? Like, I've never seen a competitive Sunflora. We have to see what this thing's up to, of course. So, I, I'm actually, I'm, I don't know what to expect. Heatree on Cresselia versus the V on Sunflora. You know, we got totally, totally standard busted versus some of the lesser used Pokemon. I'm excited. So the Powder. Just going to lead into that Heatran, covering in powder. There's the heat wave, going to blow up in its face. Damn. Well, unfortunately, I'm not like, like I know that powder is a very strong move, but I'm not the biggest fan of it just because of the way that it only does a quarter of the health, but it does have that shutdown. So Sunflora with the earth power, and then there's the trick room. Now, interestingly enough, Sunflora was slower, which means that it's just going to have that potential to outspeed the Heatran, even in the Trick Room. So there's the Earth Power right there, and I don't know anything about this game, apparently, because that ended up working. The Powder, Heat, Earth Power, what? So, Sunflora also tanks that Ice Beam like a boss, even though it was super effective. You know, uh, Cresselia not being the strongest Pokemon, but yeah, that's kind of insane. And then Rotom and Sylveon come into play. So, Vivion doesn't like any of that. You know, a lot of threat, doesn't have time to set up. Also, the Trick Room kind of takes away its sweeping. But then Pachirisu comes in. Pachirisu, I, it's it's going to have... I, I'm, I'm still want to see what else this Sunfloor has up its sleeve. So, unfortunately, the Rotom does protect. And it does go for the Giga Drain onto, or some floor goes for the Giga Drain onto Rotom. Cresselia comes back in, and Rotom, I guess it was a choice Rotom or something to have to switch out like that, or it just does not like the Giga Drain threat that much. So Cresselia, very tanky, takes a little bit of damage. My guess is a big root because uh, some floor got a lot of health back. So Hidden Power, potentially Ground, going to be super effective onto the Pachirisu. Pachirisu is going to nuzzle the Sylveon, and that just makes Sylveon slower, which makes it better for the Trick Room, but Pachirisu, it knows how to disrupt, and it knows how to do some shenanigans. So we're going to see how this ends up going across. Cresselia with the Helping Hand going to try to boost the damage from that Sylveon. Sylveon gets paralyzed, though, so that's where the nuzzle hacks come in. Giga Drain going to chunk out... Nah, not chunk out Sylveon. So some forward, just going to be a tanky Pokemon with a little bit of sustain. Pachuisu is going to throw down that U-turn onto Cresselia, going to get that super effective hit, going to try to switch out safely, and now we got Vivion coming back in, or Amamola, actually. Amamola, very tanky Pokemon, Twisted Dimensions returning to normal. Cresselia with that helping hand, going to try to get that Sylveon's damage way up, and knock off, going to hit Cresselia for that super effective, also going to remove the Citrus Berry, which means the Citrus Berry doesn't get to proc, and now we see Earth Power hitting that Sylveon for a little bit of damage. Hyper Voice going to come across. Remember, Hyper Voice boosted by that Helping Hand, so it's going to be a monstrous hit right there. Um, we know Sylveon doesn't have any choice item because it's been switching up its moves, but Amamola with the Safeguard. Interesting. And Sunflora with the Giga Drain. So. Getting a solid crit right there, not enough damage to knock out the Sylveon. But it looks like there's going to be a paralysis because Sylveon doesn't get to finish off and Sylveon just goes for the protect after that. It's scared, it doesn't know what to do. And I don't know what the safeguard was from the Almamola, but Ice Beam's going to come in, hit Sunflora, not doing the most damage, and Almamola with that knockoff. Sylveon protects itself. Sunflora going to Giga Drain Cresselia, knowing that, you know, it doesn't have. Like, there's no reason of hitting Sylveon, because it's just going to get knocked off. So, there's the Ice Beam. onto the Sunflora again. It's going to tank that hit, getting enough health back from those Giga Drains. And knock off, going to finish off Sylveon right there. So, now we know it's Rotom and Cresselia versus the Vivion and all sorts of other things. Vivion has a lot of threat. You know, it might be carrying that Giga Drain. Might be having the support. Can also bug buzz Cresselia. Cresselia is in an interesting position as well. Does it want to set up the Trick Room? Does it want to provide support for Rotom? Does it want to go for that Moonlight? Actually, we've seen Helping Hand, we've seen the Ice Beam, we've seen the Trick Room. So, Cresselia doesn't have too many options left, and Pachirisu comes in. So, Pachirisu, that could be quick uh, Super Fang onto the Rotom. The Vion comes in, that's going to be set up. You know, Cresselia with that Helping Hand. 
And that's just gonna be how this goes. So Rotom with that Thunderbolt. Pachirisu, opponent not respecting that Volt Absorb, you know, should learn from Seijun Park. This Pokemon does provide a lot of shenanigans, and Volt Absorb with the Leftover is going to give it a good amount of health. Follow me, going to distract from the Vivian, and then that means Quiver Dance is going to be for free. Yeah, keeping it safe from the from the Ice Beam, from Thunderbolt, from whatever. Rotom, you know. Oh, the, that's what the Safeguard was for. Planning ahead right there. So it's going to absorb that Will-O-Wisp, going to keep the Sash alive. Vion just showing a lot of strength right there. No longer protected by Safeguard, but I mean, there's a lot of craziness already. So Pachirisu with the Follow Me again. No Trick Room is up. Vion going for another Quiver Dance, feeling safe, you know, with that Follow Me. No problems whatsoever. Rotom can't attack, really. Hydro Pump's going to hit onto the Pachirisu. Does a solid bit of damage from a critical hit. Cresselia with the Psychic, so Cresselia not packing any sustain. Really just relying on tankiness and the Citrus Berry. But I mean, we're not going to really see anything anything else that's going to be too problematic. You know, Quiver Dance, that's already stacked up. Rotom with the Protect. So, that's just going to be a Bug Buzz on the Cresselia. Huge hit, or a Draining Kiss, even. So... That's going to not be enough right there. Very interesting. But Psychic not going to do a lot. Rotom gets to protect. And Sunflora switches out. Back into Almamola. I wonder what the Vivion has then. So Helping Hand onto Rotom. Vivion with the Draining Kiss. That's going to finish off Cresselia right there. We already know that Sunflora packs a lot of threat to the Rotom. You know, it resists all of its moves. And Thunderbolt's going to hit the Amamola. Super effective hit, but Amamola, tanky Pokemon. Gets paralyzed, but I don't think it really matters. Vion going for another Quiver Dance, though. Actually, we already saw it, so I'm guessing Powder Hurricane, maybe? Because we see the Quiver Dance, we see the Powder. Um, not going to, actually, with all those Quiver Dances, it's not going to take any kind of special attacks from this Rotom as well. Amamola with the Wish, going to keep itself healthy. I could just switch into the um, Sunflora if it really wants to be sneaky. Yeah, and that's going to heal up Sunflora really, really well. So this game's pretty much over. Last little bit of trickery from the ally. This is pretty cool though. I'm liking the Sunflora actually being successful. So Draining Kiss not going to do anything because of the Protect. There's the Wish coming in, making it a little extra frustrating for Rotom. Vion gets hurt by the burn. So there's the Draining Kiss at that plus three. But we didn't see a lot of damage onto the Cresselia. Not expecting to see too much. Might be just a tankier Vivion. Not sure. There's the Will-O-Wisp. So finally, we get to see all this Giga Drain threat. Now it's going to be a super effective hit, but how damaging is it going to be? Pretty nice. A little over half right there. We know Rotom doesn't have the Citrus Berry because that was knocked off of the Cresselia. Well, also because we've been seeing leftovers. You know, it's... Sometimes you expect that burst health from the Rotom. I'm having to comment and work on a lot of things. I can't be perfect all the time, guys. So, between, you know, all that damage, Rotom's just going to protect. Draw out the game a little more to be frustrating. But between the Draining Kiss, between all the extra damage, it's going to be pretty solid. So, Giga Drain, Draining Kiss. Huge sustain team, really. A lot of Wish, a lot of Giga Drain, a lot of sustain. Powder. That Powder open just messing up Heatran's day. That was... Very unexpected, and some Flora being super slow. So this was really cool. Uh, there's the Draining Kiss. Giga Drain going to be enough damage in the end to finish it off as well. Some Flora had Psych Up. That would be a real twist right there. It's like, oh, I'm just going to gain all this Quiver Dance. Now I'm fast and I hit hard and stuff. So Critical Hit going to break through all that Quiver Dancing, but too little, too late. For there's the Giga Drain, and that's going to end the battle. All right, guys, that was pretty insane. So, hope you guys enjoyed this Fan Friday. Um, one more coming at you, it looks like. So, that'll make five for Fan Fridays. And we have some Flora of all Pokemon doing work. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you all get ready to have a nice day.